Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new speed build video. So today I am renovating one of the apartments in San Myshuno. This is probably one of my favourite ones just because I kind of like how it's like not too big and it's also like I, I like the I like how it's a penthouse and the like kind of brown darker colours of it even though I do end up changing it all to white. Um, I think the thing that I like about it the most is like the back like glass room I suppose. So um, the this apartment is actually like it's fairly plain and there isn't really like much into the like much design for the interior so I thought I would just renovate it up just because just because I felt like it <laughs> basically. Um, one obviously one of the like it's a fairly big apartment but I just wanted to make sure that it had lots of room inside so I end up adding a room at the back and making one of the little like balcony areas just a little bit smaller just because for this build they do have two so you've got one on one end and another on the other so um, originally with this I wanted to try and make a sort of like yellow apartment because I at the moment I'm just loving the colour yellow and I think for rooms or like houses I, I quite like the idea of just making stuff like as bright as possible. So as you may tell by the title and like from the beginning of this build there is it's not actually that yellow. We use a lot of other colours as well such as like blue and some other like greeny blues as well. So the idea was is that actually this apartment was just going to be colourful and I kind of changed my mind pretty much straight away because as always I start with doing the kitchen and I kind of wanted to like keep one of the walls brick but also I also like I then ended up putting like a yellow on the wall but it wasn't actually that yellow it was more of a it's more of like a creamy yellow you could say um, but yeah so the kitchen is fairly open plan I suppose in a way we kind of have like a it's like a I, I think in England it's called like a kind of like a server's hatch in a bit and what would happen in like the 1920s when butlers were around um, you would like serve the food through the hatch so this is kind of like it's, in a way it's kind of been opened up in a bit uh, in a way but I kind of thought that would be a good idea to have like a, a bar area instead so yeah the the kitchen is kept all rustic and like many of my builds I start with the kitchen because I do always feel like it's great to like it always helps me get the idea of what I want to do with a build um, so with this I, I wanted to keep a lot of the walls like brick just so it would like just so like something was kept of the original building I suppose even though like, I do change like a lot of it um, and what was quite nice was using some of the um, laundry day items as well there's like it has this like nice little herb rack like upside down flower drying thing I don't know what it's called but it's quite good to like just size that down once and you then have it kind of looks like nice herbs in a way so as you can see this is all starting to come together now um, we do have some yellow on the wall and that kind of forms the basis of what I was trying to do the bathroom is actually one of my favourites that I've done um, but I think we'll be getting back to that a bit later but yeah so if anything it was just trying to like figure out the layout of this house because the the bedroom ends up being resized a couple of times and because it's like this is only like a one bedroom apartment I wanted to make that bedroom like a big bedroom so it does take me a while to like figure out the layout of that 
But anyway, so we do actually go on to the bathroom. One of my favourite things to do in the bathroom is make a kind of like glass wall and just by placing a window and then deleting the wall behind it, you kind of then have, it's kind of like it's a, a wall, but it's more of like a, a glass shield, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I I did, when I'm doing like these builds nowadays, I am trying to use items that I don't normally use. So this one was a perfect one because it meant that I could use some of the city living stuff, like the funky toilet that looks at you when you pee. Um, and also like the corner bathtub as well. I actually really love that item. I just never do, like I've never really used it in a build just because it's so big and normally I tend to just put showers in my bathrooms. But yeah, so the floor in this as well, I, I quite liked you, this floor. I just thought it was like a little bit different to what I have done before. So we have recently had a new trailer come out for the Jungles Adventure game pack, I think it's called. Um, I, I think it looks quite interesting. I know it's like some people are really excited about it, but I don't know, I kind of feel like I may be disappointed. I don't want to talk too soon, but I feel like this isn't going to be as good as what I would want it to be. I kind of feel like it's just gonna be, like, I don't know, I kind of feel like there's not really gonna be much to do in it. And just because it's a game pack, you know, you, just because it's a game pack, it kind of means like it's not like a massive expansion pack, which is kind of like what I was hoping for. With the, um, what's it called, the, uh, what's it, Outdoor Retreat Pack, that's a good, that is a good game pack, but it's basically just boring camping, and then actually, there isn't really much to do, so from the trailer, it kind of looks like you can, like, discover temples, and buy, like, items from the flea market which is sort of similar to the city living anyway like they have a flea market that comes every Sunday or whatever um, but I don't know I'm kind of like just trying to be I don't want to get my hopes up and then just be bitterly disappointed obviously as I may have said before this isn't actually a pack that I was wanting um, I just want a place where my sims can go swimming in the sea but obviously that will probably happen at a later date. I am hoping with potentially a seasons pack that we may get that may come with like summer holidays or like summer activities and then hopefully that way we would be able to go swimming in the sea, <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway, so back to the build. The bedroom, I've like finally got the layout done and with this we have like a walk-in wardrobe area and a small bathroom because I kind of thought if this is like the master bedroom you kind of want to gonna want your own bathroom so it's only small and obviously I put in the flooring that I absolutely love and I use for every single build nowadays I think um, and then we have I've kind of done like sometimes like with my builds or with like the interiors of the builds I don't like putting side tables in so we, well I suppose it is a side table but the marble side table I've just coloured in coloured that blue um, and I think that works quite nicely I don't know actually how it works with sims getting in the bed I have never like player tested a build where I've done that but I don't know I just think it gives it like a, a nice effect and it's just a bit different than putting in like the normal side tables that come for um, that come with the, um, that you put by the, ugh, forgot what I was saying. But anyway, so that is pretty much the bedroom done. Um, obviously I'm making full use of all the laundry items that we have. So we now have a little laundry room. Obviously this should be an essential of all your builds. I was kind of disappointed with the massive like cupboard object because 
all those shelves there isn't actually like positions where you can easily place items so I've had to like hire um, make some of those objects higher just to fit it on that shelf um, so yeah I was not too pleased with that but I don't know it it's still quite effective so obviously like if you were to put like a towel and whatnot then it does kind of like flow with the build a bit more um, so yeah this is a colorful apartment as in yellow blues and greens and no other colors <laughs> but I don't know I think it's it's quite I, I quite like it I suppose I did build it so <laughs> you have to like your own builds um, but yeah it's quite nice because I use some of those detailings for the wall and that kind of like l brightens up some areas um, but yeah so main issue was like just trying to figure out how to do like a funky entrance room I didn't want it to like just go straight onto like the living room area so um, I kind of just like made a little screen using that item which I think came from the dine out game pack potentially um, and I don't know I think that works quite well so the entrance kind of is like very modern um, you've got like a bubble thing I don't know what it's called <laughs> and then what I was trying to do here was just try and make a little screen so I kind of wanted to like break up the front and the back however I tried to put diagonal walls in which just didn't work so in the end I think we just kind of have like a, a flat wall because yeah it just wasn't going right but then that again I love the kind of like the yellow and the blue contrast with this so um, and it's like it was a good area to like stick a brand new spanking massive TV screen as well um but yeah so again another item that also comes with the dine out pack potentially I can't remember but it's kind of like the marble side table um but so I haven't used that item before but I think that works quite nice uh, ooh, quite nice as a tv stand uh, if you haven't seen earlier on this week I posted a Valentine special build with Sims in action so make sure you check out that build again um, and also subscribe to his channel if you haven't already um, but yeah that was I really like doing that build so make sure you check it out if you haven't seen it obviously I I had like a couple of days off from work so it was like the perfect time timing really because normally I cannot make a video in a day get it edited do my voiceover and then upload it number one because I have very slow internet and it takes me like two hours to upload videos but somehow I managed to pull it around and it was quite good because I only had to do the exterior of the build as well so I really focused on my landscaping in that one but yeah so we are kind of just doing the last couple of rooms here this back glass room I wanted to do something really cool with it so I kind of realized that I didn't actually have a dining room and just because this room comes off a kitchen I thought it would be a great way or great place to put a massive table in and some funky chairs as well um, and then making use of the light I wanted to put like lots of plants in and just make it really like a kind of like modern conservatory sort of area I suppose and obviously like a sim living here would have quite a bit of money so they obviously need a bar area as well um but yeah so I kind of this is like one of the rooms where I did keep the windows a bit darker just because it kind of breaks it up from the front and back um, but I did go with the um, like a black rather than a brown um, and obviously I don't know if anyone's noticed but with those windows a roof like when the light floods in it just floods in completely wrong and it's the print where it's got the lines all over the place um, as you can see right there the roof 
the light coming in is just completely wrong, but whatever. Um, so the outside, obviously wanted to make use of all the views that they have. And obviously like the sun is on this spot, so it will be a good place to like add some skills. So you can do your gardening, some yoga and some fitness. And then obviously at this side, it's a little bit darker, but I just kind of thought it would be a good spot for like a barbecue and sit down area. So I think this is like pretty much it now. Um, just doing the final little finishing touches. If you have liked this build, please like and send me a comment down below. Um, obviously make sure you have subscribed if you haven't already. We are just about to go into the screenshots, so I shall see you next time. Bye.